Hi everyone. So in today's experiment, we are going to see how pure is each kind of water. And here we have four kinds of water. The first one is the crystal geyser water that we bought from the supermarket. Then we have the purified water. Last, thirdly, we have the reverse osmosis water, which is basically a system that we install in our house to filter the water. Now what reverse osmosis does is it will take the tap water and filter it through multiple filters leading to pure water. But we'll soon find out whether this water is actually pure or not. And lastly we have New York tap water which I just got from the tap. The color of the water is just a reflection of the glass but this is actually pure water. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a TDS device which I'm showing you right now that I got from Home Forest for around $20 on Amazon. And we are going to use this device to measure the parts per million of the water, which is the ppm. Now lower the part per million, the more pure the water is and hence more drinkable. Generally the parts per million should be below 100 for it to be drinkable water. Otherwise we will suggest you to find cleaner water. So let us get started. I will first go and measure the crystal geyser water, which is supposedly very pure because we bought it from the supermarket. So I put the device here, I shake it for a bit. I keep shaking it to the value that's locked. As you can see, it's around 183. Right? So now, what I'll do is I'll show it to you again. 183 parts per million. And this is actually very surprising because this was supposed to be pure spring water, but the parts per million is very high. And this is not good drinking water. So this is a good outcome. We should not prefer not to drink this. Now let's look at 7-Eleven water. To do that, I will hit on clear and I will reset the device. Then I will again put my device on the 7-Eleven water and I'll shake it to measure the parts per million of the 7-Eleven water. So here you can see it's 3 parts per million but I'll keep shaking it so the value locks in. And now you can see the 7-Eleven water is just 3 parts per million. Now this is very pure water and is very high quality water that you can safely drink. But you know, buying water from the supermarket like the two I've shown you is just very inconvenient. So one thing that people do is install a reverse osmosis system in their house. And uh, let's see how pure that water is. Is it any purer than the MIC tap water or not? So here, I put my again PPM device on this and I shake it to lock the value. As you can see, the value is around, let me shake it so I can show it, it's around nine. But I'll shake it more so it locks in. Now as you can see, the value is around nine parts per million. So this is high quality water. It saves you the inconvenience of having to go and buy all these plastic bottles. And a nine parts per million is very good quality drinking water that you can drink at home. But now we go to the big question, you know, what is the quality of NYC tap water? And you know, this water I just got from a tap in my house, you know, you can even, you can go to anywhere in NYC and you can find the same quality of water. And we're going to measure its quality. Again, always remember to set your device to clear so that the value is clear and once it's showing 0 ppm what you can do is you can again put it on the NYC tap water and shake it for a bit remember to shake it for at least like you know four or five seconds so that the value locks in otherwise the value doesn't lock in let me try and zoom in and see if we're getting some value yeah we're getting around 40 40 parts per minute but let me just lock that in by shaking a bit more Okay, so now if you see, New York tap water is 40 parts per million, which is honestly surprising because this is this is not bad. So one can actually drink New York uh, New York tap water. I would highly recommend that you know no matter what kind of water you're drinking, you should install. You can you should buy such a device from Amazon or any other local retailer. This one, as I said, I got for twenty dollars to measure the quality of the water, and then you can decide. To install a reverse osmosis system on your house is not very expensive. You can buy a reverse osmosis system from between one fifty to two fifty dollars, and you know you can call somebody to install it for you. Um, you can also continue buying water from outside, but I think you know it's a lot of wastage of plastic. And uh, as you will, as as you saw in this video, right, which was personally very surprising to me, that even even spring water is not is is more impure than New York tap water. So that is very surprising so I would highly recommend you to buy this device, test out your water and if you really want a convenient source of water in New York, you should, should try and buy the reverse osmosis system. 
and there are various varieties some, some have five filters some have six filters but based on my experience five filters will do so okay i think this i hope this video was useful and uh, thank you for your time